2024 Daytona 500 has officially been postponed to Monday. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. As I just said a second ago, the 2024 Daytona 500 has officially been postponed to Monday. It was just announced a second ago, and NASCAR reports on their page. They say the Daytona 500 has been postponed to Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time due to inclement weather. Watch the Great American Race on Fox or listen to on MRN and SiriusXM NASCAR Radio. So tomorrow, there will be a double header. There will be two races here. We'll have the Xfinity Series race at Daytona opener for that series at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then tomorrow, the Daytona 500 is going to be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means this is going to be a day to night transition race, kind of like the Coca Cola 600 has always been. Look, NASCAR was going to do everything they could to get the race in, but when you look at the weather forecast today, there was basically zero to maybe zero to like 2% chance that they were going to get this year's Daytona 500 in. And like I just mentioned a second ago, NASCAR will do whatever they can to try to get these races in. But I do have to say one thing. I really appreciate NASCAR for saying, you know what, we're not going to have a window to get this track dried. It's not looking good. We're going to go ahead and call it early. I believe this also is going to be the first time that the Daytona Xfinity any opener and the Daytona 500 are both going to be on the same day. Shout out to my buddy Casey Campbell for letting me know on that. But basically, this is going to be the first time in NASCAR history that the Xfinity Series opener and the Daytona 500 are both going to be on the same day. So you get two tickets for the price of one. And like I just said a second ago, I really appreciate NASCAR for basically letting the fans know before the gates were supposed to open. So I think the gates were supposed to open about half an hour from now. So I'm really glad that they waited till didn't wait long. It didn't wait till like 2 or 3 p.m in the afternoon to make the decision. I'm glad they made the decision right now to postpone. And hey, maybe this will be a really good Daytona 500. 2012 was the last time we ran a race late on Monday night, and that was one of the best Daytona 500s we've seen. And I think that this year's Daytona 500 is going to be really, really fun. In tomorrow's race, you've got drive for the Xfinity. You've got drivers like Shane Van Gisberg and Haley Deegan. Of course, you've got Frankie Minas running the race. And then for the Daytona 500, you've got drivers, of course, like Kyle Lars looking for his first Daytona 500 win. You've got Brad Kozlowski looking for his first 500 win. Bubba Walsh looking for his first Daytona 500 win. Kyle Busch looking in his 20th year. Yes, technically, this won't be his 21st. race. He's ran, but he did qualify. So he technically would be his 20th Daytona 500 try. I am really pumped up and excited. And looking at the weather forecast, there is a little bit of chance of rain early in the morning, but it seems like it does clear up around 7 or 8 Eastern Standard Time. So we should be racing both races, and I just can't wait to get this rolling. I'm excited for the Daytona 500 tomorrow. I thought the duels were really exciting. And again, I appreciate NASCAR. And again, I will say this about NASCAR. Usually, like I said, they're going to do everything they can to get these races in. But at the same token, at the same time, I think they realize and understand that if the weather is too bad, they're not going to wait around long and they're going to do that. I mean, the fact that yesterday they got Daytona Xfinity qualifying in and the fact that they actually almost had a chance to start the Xfinity Series race was actually really, really impressive. So tomorrow, 120 laps for the Xfinity Series. They got to get the lap 60 for the race to be official. And for the Daytona 500, it's 100 laps to halfway. Though I do believe we're going to get both races scheduled distance. It's going to be a fun day for all fans. You got a double header tomorrow. And I cannot wait. So tomorrow on this channel, there's going to be two race reviews. And I just can't wait to get this rolling. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to this year's Daytona 500. It is going to be a really fun and exciting 2024 Daytona 500. Really excited to get the Daytona 500 underway. So that is going to today's special breaking news report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go below that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. What are thoughts about the Daytona 500 being postponed? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Later today on the channel, more than likely, I'm going to have a video talking about Stuart Haas Racing, if they're going to stay with Ford potentially after this year. There's a lot of conversation around that. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have two race reviews on the channel. Then Tuesday, more than likely, there's going to be a NASCAR news. we discussing news over the course of the last couple days. And then on Wednesday, more than likely, you're going to see the entry list video for the Cup Series race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.